In this tutorial, we're going to be making the player and the other players getting ready for the next tutorial where we're going to be instancing them in the game. So first off, I made a folder here called objects, so just make that and we're going to make a new scene and it's going to be a kinematic body and you can rename this to player. So now we'll add a collision shape and add a sprite. So the collision shape is going to be a circle and the sprite is going to be from the assets and over here spicy characters. I'm going to drag it in. Go to turn on region to enable and if you want to get this texture it's on my github or shout out to Kenny assets for this awesome asset packs they are free to use link will be in the description or you can get the same ones i'm using from github so i'm going to go ahead here and select the particular character i want then we we'll increase the collision shape just so that i can fill in the character here and we should be all good we're going to save it player.tscn in the objects folder and we are all good the next thing is we're going to add the timer and we're going to set the timer to 0 0.03 seconds so here you're going to see a warning but just ignore it we're going to select the player node go over to node go over to groups and we're going to name these players and we're going to add it to that group so we're going to be using this later in the series not now anyways we're going to add the scripts to the player objects so in the player we want to set two variables velocity and speed so velocity is going to be a vector 2 and speed is going to be a 200 then on the physics process we set the variable x to the get action strength ui underscore right minus ui left um that's just basically subtracting um which keys we are pressing from each other if you want to actually know what this is going what's happening here in depth you can check out my other tutorial i'm going to leave a card to it right now at the right so you can check it out and see how to make a top-down shooter but i'm not going to go into details because i want to focus solely on multiplayer in this series so then we set the velocity to vector 2 x and y dot normalized then after that we move and slide with velocity times speed and we want to look at the mouse position so basically that's all we need to do in the physics process then this time i will get to be using it in the next tutorial and i'll show you what that is for but for now we're done with the player script so now I want you to go over to object, go over to player.tscn and duplicate the scene. So we're going to name this other player and we're going to open it up. We're going to remove the script attached and we're going to remove the timer. Also, the sprite, I want to change it so that um, our player won't look like everybody else. So I'm just going to select this blue guy here. With that done, we press save and we're going to add a twin here. Also, I will explain why we're adding the twin here in the next tutorial. But for now, just follow my lead and add a twin. And basically, the other player's node is all good. We're going to rename this to other player and add a script other player.gd. In this script, we're going to set all these variables. The first one is twin, which is going to be equal to our twin node. Sorry, capital T. Then the speed is going to be equal to a 200. Puppet position is going to be equal to a vector 2. Um, basically, what the other player node is doing is it's going to be the kind of puppet player for other nodes. So to really explain this well, for example, here we have a um, two game instances, client one and client two, and the server is talking to both of them. So now I indicated the owner of the client by shading the head. So the client one is going to be controlling this client over here. And this other person is client two that is going to be controlling. So basically what is going to be happening is Client 1 is going to send a position rotation to the server and the server is going to tell this guy, oh, move this other person with that position and rotation. So basically, that's what he's doing. Then this guy, Client 2, is going to talk to the server and be like, okay, I've moved from here to here. Um, and the server is going to tell everybody else in the network that, oh, move this puppet to anywhere Um with that position and rotation. So the server is going to be telling the clients where to move this other player. And this is the other player.tscn that we are making right now. And this is the player.tscn if you understand my point. Hopefully you understand it. So we'll go back to the tutorial. So this proper position, proper rotation and proper velocity is going to be collected from the server. And this is the puppet um, player that we're going to be moving from. So after all this, we're going to create a function called new puppet position 
which is going to take in a value of the popper position. Then it's going to set the value to popper position and the twin is going to interpolate between the position it was before and the position it is right now. So it's going to give you some kind of smoothing effect in case the other person's network is slow or something. It's somehow like compensates whatever is happening. Then over here, we add yeah, an update transform function, which is going to take in proper position, rotation, and velocity. And it's going to set the proper position and set the proper rotation and velocity. Then last but not the least, in the physics process function, rotation degrees is going to be equal to an interpolated version of the rotation of the rotation degrees and the proper rotation so whatever rotation it was before is going to smoothly turn and as i said for lack compensation so that um the game will not be unplayable for if one person doesn't have the right network connection or something so basically we save this and i think that should be all for what we need to do in this tutorial so stay tuned because in the next tutorial we're going to be instancing the players and other players are going to be joining colliding with each other and all that stuff so yeah i think that's it thanks for watching see you guys next time smash subscribe for part three and goodbye.